For more than 70 years, Schaffen Career and Technical Center in Youngstown has been giving adults the skills they need to get into the nursing field. Coming from three current programs, practical nursing, surgical technology, and dental assisting, soon-to-be Schaffen graduates got a chance to test the job market on Tuesday. Every one of our students will have a job offer be before the end of the year. And if they don't have a job, it's because they don't want it. In this week's Brain Gain Brief, we begin at Schaffen's Nursing Career Fair, where there were nearly as many employers looking for nurses as there were students seeking employment. Brain Gain is sponsored by Eastern Gateway Community College, the Mahoning Valley Manufacturers Coalition, and these coalition members. We are having a job fair for our students here at Schaffen Career and Technical Center for our adult students. Uh, typically, we just invite our adult students in their program, but we are opening it up uh, to our high school seniors who might be interested in going into the uh, health fair uh, because these are in-demand jobs. We have hospitals here from Cincinnati, Ohio, so from, from all over the state. So Mercy Hospital, have you know, they have area hospitals across the country. Country. So we have the places for people to have jobs. Every one of our students will have a job offer be before the end of the year. And if they don't have a job, it's because they don't want it. I myself came from Chopin. I graduated in 2010 from the li licensed practical nursing program. So prior to starting the nursing program, I had worked at several jobs and they were kind of dead end jobs. A couple of them closed, shut down business. And I decided I wanted to do something that was long lasting. And he said, I, let's try nursing. And it has been nothing but wonderful. I've always been able to find job opportunities. Um, money is decent, you know, it's a livable wage and I mean it's one thing you can always, and there's so many um, different aspects of nursing, so you're not just stuck doing just one thing if you decide to move on to something different. So it's very difficult to find, you know, people who are patient, who are understanding, who are just ready, you know, to take on every day as its own. Every day could be a different day working with Alzheimer's and dementia. Currently we're looking for um, licensed practical nurses with LPNs. Um, we're looking for dental assistants as well. Uh, we are a community health center, um, which is an FQHC, and in the Youngstown, Warren, and Alliance areas. And so we have lots of positions to fill. We also have opportunities available for the, the students to work in our call centers as well as front desk while they're working through school. So we offer that to them as well. The reason why we're here for the job fair is because it is a, a tough market. As you can see with all the people here, um, a lot of people are looking right now. But I feel that you know we can help people to, to um, stand out in their career and to give them a great environment to work with in, in assisting people that need it the most in our community, in the community health center field. These are jobs that people can actually live on and take care of their family with and they can grow within their, their particular fields. So we are taking applications for next year. Uh, we, we have a fall entry for all of our programs and there are 10 month programs. And it was signing day in Columbiana County, but not for sports, for academics. Last week, students graduating from the Columbiana County Career and Technical Center made their commitments to either enlist, enroll, or be employed after graduation. Bailey Dasher signed on to join the Marines, where she'll specialize in diesel technology. Anya Gishbauer and Ava Patron are enrolling at Full Sail University in Florida, while Colton Hickman signed on to serve in the Army Reserves while he continues working as a machinist at Hall Industries. And that is all for this week's Brain Gain Brief. For more Brain Gain news, click Brain Gain under the Workforce Development tab at businessjournaldaily.com. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Mike Moliterno. Brain Gain is sponsored by Eastern Gateway Community College, the Mahoning Valley Manufacturers Coalition, and these coalition members.